that's just what I do, striking. I, I've been pretty much just basic striking. I didn't go to a martial arts school, fighting was bored to me. There's nothing better than fighting in there and you're, you're in the moment of fighting. I think our perfect care has, has, has to do more with timing and precision. Look at the precise punches of Mark Hunt. I mean, power is good, but um, no point in getting the power if it's, it's gone everywhere else. You can feel if you get someone really good because you just know. I don't know how, but it just happens. I mean, the ones that get you are the ones that you don't even see. But when you get them good, there's no coming back. Boy, he knew when he landed that, he just walked away. Sort of sounds funny, but I never asked to be a fighter. I never even had a notion of being a fighter, let alone a top-end fighter, and here I am. I'm one of those persons that have always taken opportunities that I've had in my life and, and turned them from a negative to a positive. I've always felt I'm the best fighter in the world, and I have to feel like this. Why would I want to be here? I don't want to be second place. I got a call. I mean, I said yes before. I haven't realized what I had to do. Alfred Rich is a great fighter. He's one of the best fighters. But I can never get as much experience on the ground as he can. And I don't think he'll ever get as much striking experience as I have. There's a plan working under my head. It's not just, you know, some crazy guy trying to knock anybody out. I can knock out anybody in the world. Oh, that's it! Oh, my! Anybody. No excuses, win or lose. I just, I feel satisfied as a fighter as long as I put my best performance forward and I can walk out of the octagon happy. Looking forward to, to Saturday getting to work and uh, making history.